We're 1,500 yards uh, so far this season through the air. And a player that has thrown some interceptions, but obviously is getting it done uh, in the postseason and some other backs as well. You know, Price is the one to look at, but Buchanan, as we mentioned uh, on defense, also the ability to, to run the football as well. And several other receivers on this team nearing 200 yards, but the main one to look at, uh, West Ball. I think that Gardner Edgerton and their run game, clock control, uh, it's going to be interesting uh, in this game this week, but maybe favoring Gardner Edgerton, but should be an outstanding game in Class 6A between Blue Valley and Gardner Edgerton. Of course, Gardner Edgerton knocking off Northwest, Blue Valley Northwest, that is 28 to 6, and Blue Valley winning 42 to 21 over Olathe North. Now, their losses, Blue Valley, you look at it, their record a bit deceiving with four losses this year. They lost to Blue Valley Southwest, who is still playing. Blue Valley Northwest obviously lost last week to Gardner. They lost early on in the season to them by 14. Miege and Aquinas was going to be a coin flip game this year, and it was. And Blue Valley's lost to both those programs by seven to Miege and three, respectively, to Aquinas that uh, is still alive in the 4A playoffs that eliminated Miege. So uh, expect a showdown here with Sunflower League. And the Eastern Kansas League, Gardner, Edgerton, Blue Valley, and Gardner this week for Class 6A semifinal. And the west side of Class 6A, unbeaten Washburn Rural, hosting 10-1 and Derby. Washburn Rural, the only unbeaten team in Class 6A football. Coach Bueller and company, they have been so impressive. The Heim brothers, we talk a lot about this team and how good they are. The quarterback play has been outstanding. Several weapons, at receiver out of the backfield, defensive line. This is a very, very good team. Beating Wichita East, they pulled away late in that one, 35-14. Brett Cleland of Sports in Kansas was there uh, with that. And this is a team that will play their fourth football game in a row at home this week. So uh, they have not had to travel outside of Topeka since the 13th of October when they went to Emporia and won big. So, in fact, the week prior to that, uh, they were at home against Topeka High. So not had a lot of travel this year. You know, went over to Kansas City Piper. Uh, outside of that, not a lot of travel uh, besides going to Emporia, as we mentioned, which is not a, a far drive at all. But this week at home again against Derby. Uh, and the Panthers, I've been talking about them all year. And, you know, for some reason, you know, a lot of people weren't having them in their top five. And I said, Derby's Derby. They lost early on to Manhattan, and they got them back this last week. And, you know, Derby clicking at the right time. This is a team that has won 10 football games in a row. They lost to Manhattan 33-19 in week one. They erased that last week on the road. Grady Jessup, field goal 23-21 to win that on the road to beat the defending 6A state champion. Now, Derry Cupboard out of the backfield, obviously doesn't have, you know, Dylan Edwards numbers, but he is still averaging seven yards per carry this year. And you also have the Finley kid who's a freshman averaging nearly eight yards per carry. Star player on this team, obviously, Deshaun Brame, the junior, highly recruited Division One tight end, over 800 yards receiving, 20 yards per catch. The Rudy kid as well, the senior, 700 yards. So those are some weapons, obviously, for Braxton Clark uh, this year, as well as Splain, who's played quarterback as well. And defensively, you look at this team overall, they've had some very, very impressive players, uh, in, including, you know, obviously a player that's, off the charts with with tackles for loss and that the hopper kid uh this year number 43 uh keep an eye on him he's not the biggest kid in the world 511 215 pounds uh but this kid's playing like a first team all-state selection uh so far this year with, with all that he's done 13 sacks uh 60 tackles uh from his spot you know defensively on the team and uh does a very good job so it's a lot more than just him though this should be an outstanding matchup you know, coin flip style of matchup. I don't know which way to lean. Washburn Rural's been very good, and Derby's an improved uh, team throughout the course of the year. Two powers going at it in Class Six A. In Class Five A on the East, Blue Valley Southwest ten and one, hosting nine and two Mill Valley. Well, this Five A East semifinal, uh, you've got Mill Valley traveling to Blue Valley Southwest. Mill Valley, the four-time defending champion. And they've really been, as a program, the barometer for Kansas of late. I mean, they've won four straight state titles, six of the past eight seasons. Uh, they've won five A state championships. Uh, and you look at Blue Valley Southwest, on the other hand, um, a team that's very talented. 
Um, but this is just their second time ever in the state semifinals. Um, the other being last season when they lost to Mill Valley 63 to nothing in a game that they kind of thought that they had arrived and could compete at that level and Mill Valley shut them down. So we'll see how it translates this year. Mill Valley very solid defensively. Um, obviously a couple of losses to Gardner Edgerton 49 to 10 and then to Olathe North, two really good 6A teams. Um, but Jaden Woods is obviously outstanding on the defensive line, 55 tackles, 10 for loss, and he holds offers from seemingly every major division one university um the jaguars on offense though they've been much more run based this year 85 percent of the time they're running the football averaging over 340 yards per game on the ground tristan baker is back 1300 yards and 20 touchdowns uh, he's over 3300 yards and nearing 50 scores for his uh, career daniel blaine and connor bohan has played have split time at quarterback um, both of them have rushed for around 600 yards. Bohan with 13 rushing touchdowns, but it was Blaine last week that rushed for 230 and three touchdowns. If you want to send a birthday shout out to someone over the air, you can. It's easy. All you have to do is call 785-222-3400 the day before and give us the deeds and we'll do the rest. 14 to nothing and then rattled off 35 consecutive points and so it's been an outstanding season for eisenhower their task this week is to slow down King elias with 346 yards and six touchdowns last week as uh, capen held off may south 57 to 47 um he's a workhorse he had nearly 40 carries last week and he's just an outstanding player and one of the best backs in state history. Dylan Hamilton has been very good at quarterback for the Crusaders, over 150 yards passing and a touchdown, and then he can beat you 